Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over a fall look since we are officially in fall. And I got a new product by Clay de Po, the Luminizer Enhancer Powder. So let's go ahead and jump into this look and review the new Clay de Po product. Let's get started. Well, good morning. I usually do my videos later in the afternoon, but since I've started working, I have to shift my schedule to the morning. So if the light looks a little different, that is why I use natural light. Today I thought I would do kind of a two video type of thing, meaning that I'm gonna go ahead and show you a fall look, something simple um, and lip focused. And then I wanna try out a new product that just came in. And that's the Clay de Poe Luminizing Face Enhancer. I have not yet tried this um, powder formulation before. I have a lot of other products by Clay de Poe, but I see this every year and I kind of always pass on it. And I thought this is the year to try it out. All right, so let's go ahead and prime and get some moisturizer on, put the brows on for goodness sakes, because the brows are looking very small this morning. I'm telling you guys, if I was on a desert island, I'd have to have my eyebrow pencil. All right, let's get started. All right, I got my brows on. I use the Tarte Sketch and Set. It's one of my favorites. It has a wax pencil on one side, so it helps to not move, especially if you get in water or you sweat a lot. Um, and on the other end is a tinted kind of brow gel. Uh, this is the darkest brow gel I've ever used. Usually they're so transparent that they don't really do much. And since I have hardly any brows, I need all the help I can get. So I'm gonna start off with my newest favorite primer. Some of you guys just saw my latest favorites for September, and I did this also in new products that I tried on, so it's my third time trying it on camera with you guys, and I'm already getting great feedback that you guys that ordered it are loving it, so yay, I'm so glad. There are products that I obviously love, um, and I want you guys to love them too. It's always so great to put something out there that you love so much and find out that your uh, subscribers love it as well. All right, let's get this beauty on. This is such a beautiful lightweight primer. I talked about my last video how I didn't wear primer for like, gosh, 20 years. I just didn't like the feel of it because when primers first came out, they were really full of like dimethicone and a lot of primers still have a lot of dimethicone which there's nothing wrong with dimethicone. I just don't like the way it feels. Kind of is like a moisture uh, barrier. For me, it feels like a moisture trap. It's just too uh, heavy on my skin. This is nice and light in weight and it feels so good. It keeps my makeup on all day. I'm gonna use my favorite NARS foundation. The color I have is the Salzburg. This is the Sheer Glow. This was NARS's very first foundation. It is a top seller. It is a wonderful light buildable coverage. I'd say it's definitely a medium coverage. You can shear it down to a light coverage. A couple dots here. I have a little sponge here and I'm just gonna tap that in. Normally I use my fingers to shear this out, but I want a little bit more coverage today. So I used a little more foundation and using a sponge, which concentrates the formula a bit more while still buffing it out. I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford concealer. I definitely have noticed that fall coming in has made my skin head even drier than it normally is. Uh, so this concealer is great because I need the hydration and the hyaluronic acid for plumping just the overall creamy brightness that it offers. Just gonna go in with a couple drops here, a little red under my eyes, so I'm just gonna lightly put some on that lash line, and I wanna do a little bit of brightening out here. Now if you have deeper set wrinkles, just use less concealer, because the heavier you put a concealer on, the more opportunity it has to settle. So thin layers, you can build up the coverage if you want, but work very thin and build up for more coverage. And I just tap. Let's get some warmth on the skin. I'm gonna use my NARS San Juan Bronzer. And since this look is really gonna be focused on the lips and some light shimmering eyes, it's gonna be kinda of like a bright, deep look, basically. I'm going to add warmth and a light pop of color on the cheeks because I don't want um, too much color because the lip's gonna be quite bold. So tap, you could do a light swirl to buff, but stay very small in your circles. 
and then flick up. Think of bronzers the way the sun hits the face. It hits the high planes of the face, but it doesn't stop there. It hits the ears, it'll hit part of your forehead, it'll hit down the nose, sometimes you get a little on your chin. So if you think that way, you always have a balanced uh, face. All right, let's try this Clay Depot Illuminizing Face Enhancer. Now I got the color in Wonderful Radiance. And here it is. Now it says to keep the plastic that sits on top of here, it says put this film back after use over the powder and brush. So it must do something to keep the powder, I'm guessing like maybe from drying out or protect it. I'm gonna read a little bit from the website because I've never tried this powder before. It says, it's an exquisite highlighting powder that uses innovative light diffusing technology to capture radiance and illuminate the skin. Housed in a giftable limited edition refillable case. I love reading these. Um, product descriptions you just feel like you're going to turn into an ethereal like angel or fairy or something <laughs> it just sounds so over the top wow all right i hope so let's let's see all right i'm going to take the brush that it comes with because it says it's handcrafted all right it states to use as the last step in your makeup and to apply it moving upward across the cheekbones and if you want more radiance it states to add some to the temples All right, so I am seeing the luminous glow coming up. A little on my temples here. It feels personally like it has a little too much blue in it for me. Um, I like something a little bit more peach and rose. This feels a little bit icy, pretty, bright, but icy. All right, let's bring it in. As you can see, it's got a lot of blue and kind of greeny gold in it, and I think it's just a bit too much for me. There is another color on here. It is sold out on the Clay Depot website, but it is called a glow. And I think I'd like that better because looking online, it has more of like a mauve, a gold, a pink, and a peach tone. Now let's go ahead and talk about my thoughts on this briefly. Now I understand that everybody has a personal preference. Some of you may love this. As a makeup artist, I try to think about not just what I love, but like what you guys will think of like the formula and textures and different age ranges and different like skin tones. So that said, I don't think it's worth $95. Um, it's pretty. I know that it's a luxury brand. So the price tag matches the brand, but I like the Westman Atelier far more. I like the Dior luminizers far more. I like the Chanel luminizers far more. And all the three I just mentioned are cheaper than this. If you are somebody who has concern with like fine lines and deeper lines, I feel like this will kind of settle. It looks a bit chalky to me up close. Um, and it's just not kind of rolling on the skin. It feels a bit dry. It doesn't feel as emollient as I was hoping it would feel. And for those of you that have medium to darker skin tones, it will definitely be like a wow factor if that's what you're looking for, but it's not really gonna you know, match with your skin very well. Obviously there is another color and it will match with your skin much better, which is the Aglow. But I just feel like if this for me feels a bit too icy, it might feel a bit too icy for most people because I'm pretty fair. Just some thoughts. Let's get to some eyes. I pulled out my Byredo palette. I love these because they're sheer in kind of application and formulation than my Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona goes on like, wow, I actually have to really like pull back because hers are so pigmented where these are pigmented. They just layer on more soft. I am doing a fall look and I wanna do something just very subtle. So I have a little cup of water near me and I wet my finger and I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful kind of lavender color. And since my finger is wet, really grabs that pigment, I'm just gonna tap this on. The eye look today is very much just like a soft wash of color because I'm using the color Bet by NARS and it's a dark lip. I'm ringing in the fall 
with that dark purple that you see on falling leaves. You get that orange, the marigold, the kind of cranberry, and then you get this really dark purple on um, fall leaves that I'm just very much inspired by. All right, I'm gonna grab my Tom Ford number 13 brush. I'm gonna grab this light kind of violet purple. Go right on that brow bone here. Right, I'm gonna do my other eye. Both eyes done, I added the NARS Extreme Mascara and I added my Stilo Waterproof by Chanel and Noir Intense. By the way, just another quick update. I got these months ago and I just wanted to let you know that it is still working beautifully. The older formula, they would dry out in the tube after a couple months. Mine's still going strong. Let's go ahead and try on one of my favorite dark vampy noir type of lipsticks. This is the NARS Bet. Now I'm gonna layer this in two ways. I'm gonna stamp it, so for those of you who are like, whoa, way too much color, I'm gonna show you how to wear this. It's a little bit more wearable for those of you who aren't color enthusiasts. And then I will add more for those of you that like a little something bold. So I'm just gonna lightly stamp this on the lips and rub my lips together. And I'm gonna build up the color like this very slowly. Using the back of my knuckle here to blend it. Another way that you can really soften the lip and create almost just like a transparent berry color is take a Q-tip and just go over it and over it. And it'll just kind of push that pigment into the lip, creating something that's just very much like just a stain. All right, feel free to stop there. If you want, you can add a tiny bit of like gloss in a red to make it brighter, a plum to make it deeper, or just a clear to keep the color integrity of this lip color. All right, but let's go in deeper because I love to go in with color. As long as you're here. This is one of those times you want to hit the sides of the mouth so that it creates a nice full lip because darker colors, remember, they recede. They create smaller features. So I know a lot of women as they get older go no, no, no with a darker lip, but those of you who are 40 and up, who wanna create something a little bit more modern, believe it or not, an editorial and a bit edgy, don't be afraid of dark lipstick. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys some images right now of women that rock a dark lip. So I recommend trying it out. It's makeup, you could always take it off if you don't like it. Last step, blush. I saved it for the very end because I wanted to first see where the colors were kind of laying on my face. And I mean by that, like what's the temperature? Where do I need to balance the color between the eyes and the lips, especially because they're analogous, meaning that they run in the same family. So I have a dark purple with like a lavender and then kind of a violet tone. And so what I'm going to do is think about that fall leaf again. Nature will never steer you wrong, you guys. And when I think about a fall leaf, it has purple, it has orange, it has gold, it has cranberry colors. And so I went ahead and I grabbed a bright orange color. Now I'm not going to do really bright on my cheek, don't worry, it's just gonna be a light pop. But the color I'm using is the Birds of a Feather Collection Blush in 462. I'm just gonna pop a little of that blush on the brush here and lightly sweep it on top of that bronzer. Very, very little bit, I just wanna Give the skin a little color so that I don't look washed out. Now I could stop here. Everything's kind of satin and matte textured and I wanna balance that out. So I am gonna grab a bit of my Westman Atelier Puda Rose highlighter because it has a luminosity, it has a creamy texture to it. And I'm gonna grab my Sonia G brush, the Sculpt 4. I'm going to lightly brush that right on top of the clay de po luminizer. Take my finger here and I'm gonna pop just a bit of that on that brow bone. Catch a little bit of light here. I'm gonna put a little in that inner corner. 
Here is the final look. All right, everyone, we've hit the end of the video. We did a fall look and tried out the new Clay de Po Luminizer Enhancer Powder. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, always love to know your thoughts, comment down below. And if you guys wanna support Shri Voyage, the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and hit subscribe, use the affiliate links, and my favorite, leave me a comment down below. All right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Everyone, please continue to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.